Yo, what's up? What's good? It's Squad doing how you feeling, man? It's boy D back on another bank reaction. Man, y'all know the day is, man. The day is random Tuesday, number 68. Today we got Congress to hold hearing on UAPs in November. Now, this is currently November, and it is election day. So, for those of y'all who voted, good for y'all. If those of y'all who didn't, hey, man, I feel you. Um, you know, anybody, everybody, some people want to vote, some people want to vote. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know, man. I don't know how it's going to go today. But, you know, I'm sure everybody's going to be on board. You know what I'm saying? Especially everybody that's in the policy. I know y'all are y'all, y'all on the first seat in the election. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Let's hope that y'all voices is heard. And, you know, let's just see how it goes. Anyway, man. Um, yeah, this one was requested by Felipe Garcia. I appreciate it, man. You said that we should check this out. So, we're going to hop into it. Um, yeah. Let's just see what it's talking about, man. I'm going to leave the original video link in the description down below. For those of y'all want to check it out on your own time, as always, like, comment, subscribe, join the Deep Squad if you haven't already. We are on the grind, you know what I'm saying? 10,000, we finally hit our goal, but we we, we, we striving for more goals, you know what I'm saying? 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. Y'all you, you, get the picture. On that, man, I appreciate it, man. Let's hop to it. Now, for 17 days, mysterious drones or UAPs flew over a U.S. military base, leaving the Pentagon confused and unsure as to who was behind it, and that still seems to be the case. But now, at least, the Pentagon is confirming that those drones were, in fact, spotted hovering over Langley Air Base last year, and despite those drones violating U.S. airspace, they were not shot down, even though it looks like the commander of that base did have the authority to do so. And that's just one of the many instances of things flying with impunity over restricted airspace, and in light of all this, NBC News learned on Friday that there will be another congressional hearing on UAPs in mid-November, possibly with witness testimony. I had a chance to speak with Jeremy Corbell about this on Friday. He's a journalist, podcaster, and documentary filmmaker who has published a lot of the videos we're now talking about oh, and we've been talking about for years. This hearing, what kind of testimony could we see there? Right. So we are in a crisis right now of journalism in America. And there are a lot of attempts right now to stop witnesses, first-hand whistleblowers to UAP from testifying. Now, we also have people fighting to allow for that. So the world, one way or the highway, is gonna catch up really soon about UAP. George Knapp, my mentor in journalism, and I have been giving briefings on the Hill as recently as today, watching this unfold, just like everybody else at home. I will tell you this, this is the message, and it's already done been said by Representative Nancy Mace. Come hell or high water, the hearing is on. Nothing can stop it now, nothing can, and truth and significant transparency regarding UAP is unstoppable. So what the American and global public does with that, that's up to them. Jeremy, if I can, I, I want to play a bit of what the Pentagon said about those drones flying over Langley, the, the situation over right. Langley, if, if you don't mind. Take a look. The number of those UAS incursions did fluctuate on any given day. Um, but they didn't appear to exhibit any hostile intent. Uh, My bad, y'all. I'm trying to figure out what the hell. Saying that they seen drones flying, right? UAPs. Yeah. So I, UAP is a, is a drone, right? Yeah. I about to say because I remember I used to um, I used to use drones in high school, like to shoot like shoot videos with them. You know what I'm saying? It was it was a cool experience, and I think that's what that's another word for drone UAP. Um, so what they trying to is there a group of people that's that's talking against it, and there's another group that's talking for it? Is that what's going on? Like I seen that footage, like they seen they, they seen them flying and shit. Like what they got, what they what what's what's going on? Um, it's something that we you know have kept our eye on. So what you hear didn't appear to indicate hostile intent. What do you, what goes through your mind? Right. Um, so, Gaudi, I think for your audience, I could sit here and I could answer your questions, but I think their questions will be answered soon enough with these hearings, the 13th of November, because they're going to happen. And I'd just like to say to your audience. Oh, so that's coming up on the 13th. Wow. So that's coming up. OK. As a journalist in America, I fear no thing real or fictitious, and I embrace the truth, no matter how challenging that is for people to process. So look, man, UFOs, UAP, there are incursions on sensitive military installations. In fact, 
I've reported with George Knapp and you, Gotti, a lot about that. But that is a small, tiny piece of opaque glass in a larger mosaic of what UAP represent or could represent to the American and global public. I do have one message that I want to leave you with today, Gotti, and this is for every whistleblower, every American patriot who has come to me as an American journalist and who has put trust in me and George Knapp. It's actually from a song by a guy called Livingston. I just learned this song. Here's what it conveys. Do not fear the truth. Fear is just your own shadow on the floor. And don't forget it. So listen, Gotti, we're going to have a different conversation after and on November 13th, because we are having congressional hearings on UFOs, and the world is going to learn. So they're taking this shit to the big court. They're taking this shit to the court. So that hearing, that hearing is going to be interesting. So he's on the 13th. He said there's going to be a lot to discuss about these UAPs. Things they didn't know before, and I do hope, I do hope that you have solid individuals sitting there in that chair. And I think with Representative Nancy Mace at the helm, people that are heroes for this in the in the uap caucus are going to make sure of it uh, fingers crossed uh, at november 13th maybe we'll get some straight answers then jeremy corbell i'm gonna lie i'm I, I, I seem very passionate about that shit i don't know uh, i i kind of don't i, I kind of still don't get the point but it's like i might be a dumbass that might be me you know what i'm saying maybe y'all got but see this is why i watch it with y'all because maybe y'all understand what's going on before me you know what i'm saying sometimes i'll be watching something and i don't be knowing what the hell going on like something like i i'm watching this and i'm like okay they i see they talking about uap but what's the issue you know what i'm saying i don't know like are they are they insinuating that that's like a bomb or something or they like they saying like it's not appropriate I don't know, man. So I, I'm trying to understand it for myself as well. But maybe y'all see it or understand it more than me. So uh, if y'all do, just put it in the comments section. You know what I'm saying? Speak your opinions on it. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's make a conversation about it. Because like, that's the only thing I know about UAPs, like the drones and stuff. But if there's any other stuff, I don't really know much about it. So, man, he, he said it. He said it's going to be a hearing on the 13th of this month um, about this stuff. So... Hey man, if there's a video of the hearing, I mean, maybe, who knows, if y'all want me to, I'll react to that. You know what I'm saying? If y'all are really um, interested in, in this topic. But with that being said, that concludes another video of Random Tuesday. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Same time next week. Any other uh, requests, just drop it in the comment section. And um, maybe I'll read your comment, then that might be the next video. So with that being said, man, um, I love y'all. Y'all stay safe. God bless. Thanks for the support. Deep is out, man. Peace.